Hello, my dear Nigerian farmers. Welcome back to your favorite agricultural and agribusiness YouTube channel. On today's episode, we are going to be looking at foliar fertilizer, also known as liquid fertilizer. As you all know it, we have different classification and different type of fertilizer. Fertilizer can be organic, fertilizer can be inorganic. Fertilizer can be liquid, fertilizer can also be granular in form. Fertilizer can be a single fertilizer, it can also be a compound fertilizer depending on the composition or depending on the material they use in making such fertilizer so on today's episode we are going to be focusing on foliar fertilizer popularly known as liquid fertilizer we are going to be looking at the do's and don'ts of the application and how farmer can use it to achieve the best results on their farm but before i go on what I have here with me are two different liquid or foliar fertilizer. The one, the one I'm holding right now is an organic liquid fertilizer that has a biostimulant and a pesticide inside it. Whereas the second one here is an inorganic uh, liquid fertilizer, the one that has MPK 2010 in it. So these are two different liquid fertilizer. This is to tell you that liquid fertilizer can also be organic and inorganic. So uh, I, uh, for your information, I have all these type of things in store for sale. That is not the essence of this video. So let's move on uh, to the business of the day. Uh, liquid fertilizer, what are liquid fertilizer? Liquid fertilizer are just uh, another type of fertilizer like the granular the normal fertilizer we know but in different form they are in liquid form so unlike the granular fertilizer that you have to apply it on the soil or in the soil at the base or around the base of your crop uh, liquid fertilizer or foliar fertilizer are applied in in solution they are applied after dilution with water and they are applied on the body of the plant they are applied on the leaf on the vegetative part of the plant so that the plant can absorb them directly and immediately and the major difference between uh, liquid fertilizer and uh, granular fertilizer is the their pathway of action where when the granular fertilizer will be applied in the soil the liquid fertilizer will be sprayed on the body of the of the of the plant or of the crop uh, also another thing that differentiates them is that liquid fertilizer action is immediate immediately you are spraying it immediately the plant is taking it up and is using it for their use unlike the granular fertilizer that have to be diluted in the soil and before the root will take it up and the plant can use the action of liquid fertilizer is more immediate and that is that makes it uh, uh, more useful when uh, there is an immediate uh, need for you to apply fertilizer to your crop uh, so moving on to the do's and don'ts of using uh, liquid fertilizer if you are a farmer and you want to apply uh, you want to use a uh, liquid fertilizer on your farm these are the do's and don'ts firstly i'll be uh discussing the don't do's what are the things you need to put uh in place the number one thing is that you have to make sure that the sprayer you are using is not contaminated by an herbicide so at the end of the day you will not be killing your plant make sure the the knapsack you are using is clean of any other chemical before you do your uh, dilution that's number one number one two thing is that make sure you are doing the right uh, measurements in your dilution don't over dilute and don't under dilute make sure you are using you are following the prescribed measurements another thing is that uh, make sure you are applying fertilizer early in the morning or late in the afternoon and avoid applying liquid fertilizer under direct or sun now another thing uh you want to do to achieve best results when you are applying a, a liquid fertilizer is that 
you have to apply liquid fertilizer at the active growing stage of your crop it's not a type of fertilizer you apply when your fat when your crop are still very small or they are at the seedling level liquid fertilizer is meant for older crop crops that are at the stage of flowering or, or they are close to the stage of uh, production that is when you apply uh, your liquid fertilizer and make sure you apply on the foliage make sure you apply on the body on the vegetative parts and maybe around the root uh, zone of the plant those are the do's of uh, of applying liquid or foliar fertilizer if you want to uh, achieve the best results what are the don'ts what are the don'ts the don'ts of uh, liquid fertilizer the number one is that make sure whenever you are using uh, liquid fertilizer make sure you don't apply when immediately after rain because when you are applying immediately after rain the plant will have become soaked they have more water in their body and they have more water in the soil so when you are applying it there will be a kind of dilution and oversaturation another thing is that make sure you don't apply liquid fertilizer when rain is imminent you know it's going to be rain and you continue uh, spraying your liquid fertilizer another thing is that you don't apply liquid fertilizer to uh, a disease or a stressed uh, crop a, a crop that is uh, feasibly diseased or stressed so you don't apply a uh, liquid fertilizer in that kind of situation uh, in essence the bottom line is that liquid fertilizer is uh, most preferably a type of fertilizer you go to when there is an immediate immediate need for you to apply fertilizer like an emergency way for you to apply fertilizer and you have to take note that the concentration of nutrients in liquid fertilizer are not as concentrated like the one uh, of uh, the one of the granular so maybe you'll be needing more bottle uh, to to make one bag of what uh, the quantity of nutrient a bag of fertilizer will give you with this i've come to the end of today's topic and i hope uh, you've gotten value one way or the other from this video if you actually got value from this video kindly give it a like share with your friends and for if you have any other question you can drop it in the comment section then we'll keep the conversation going if you are if you are watching me for the first time this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture thank you for your time and see you on the next one Shishi.